Nolagent here. Ken, really good stuff in here. Yeah. Welcome to Nolagent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, first we feast with me on some great New Orleans ramen at Ken Restaurant as we enjoy this fantastic assortment of creative ramen and dumplings for our restaurant review videos. Ken is located in New Orleans at 4600 Washington Avenue, which is about 11 minutes and four and a half miles away from the French Quarter. In this ramen review video, we will enjoy a fantastic ramen selection and find the answer to the New Orleans question of where is the best ramen in New Orleans? Ken is a great place to get some of the best ramen and dumplings in the New Orleans area, and it has many dedicated fans that have made it one of the most popular ramen restaurants for their great food. This is a smaller restaurant and it's very popular in the neighborhood, and currently they're only doing outdoor seating. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. Now, uh, when I was still in college, I used to live off ramen, those cheap little ramen packages that were not the best tasting. I've been eating in Ken for quite a while, and their ramen definitely ain't nothing like that stuff I used to eat back in college. So currently, they're doing the food for both Ken and another restaurant they've opened out of this small building. So we have no seating inside, and it's all outdoor seating. So we're going to take a look at the menu now and decide what we're going to get. So the first ramen is chicken pai tam with yuzu gochujang chicken, leeks and shrooms, marinated egg, corn bamboo, charred garlic oil, chicken broth. Then we have pork tonkatsu with roasted pork belly and shoulder, marinated egg, green stuff, and pork broth. Then a portobello yasa vegan, portobello yasa, roasted tomatoes, sauteed veggies, green stuff, tomato miso, and dashi broth. An oxtail shoyu spicy, braised oxtail with charred onions, marinated egg, radishes, wood ear shrooms, and beef broth. And a Tom Yum style ramen, sauteed local shrimp, roasted tomatoes, celery, charred lime, green stuff, shrimp and clam broth, wings, and then their dumplings. They just have a creative selection of dumplings that change all the time. And then you have additions where you can add an extra egg, chili saute, black garlic oil, corn, bamboo, leeks and shrooms, green saute vegetables, and noodles. And then they have their selection of broths. Now we'll take a look at some of the delicious things I've had in the past here. Here's a chicken marsala dumpling and a chicken pot pie dumpling. They really just have such great flavors. They make everything so beautiful here as well. This is a corn chorizo dumpling. And then we also have a Naughty Burger Dumpling, which was a really interesting creative application. And then the Salmon Fritters were also delicious. And I also enjoyed the Shrimp Dumplings. And they uh, often have a nice sauce that they make to go with it. And then the Brisket Ramen is always consistently good. And here it is again, and it's a little bit different. So every time you get it, it's a little different from the last time often. Here's a chicken katsu ramen, so it's a fried chicken. Here's just a regular sliced chicken ramen. And here we have a salmon ramen, and it's just a really delicious piece of fish that they do on that. And here's another example of it. You see, it looks a little bit different, but uh, some ways similar. A shrimp tom yum udon. They use the udon noodles instead of the ramen noodles. And an oxtail shoyu ramen that's got some good spices to it. And here's a banana bread dessert that they did. So it's just really beautiful looking things. So for this meal, I had to get the Oxtel Show You Ramen because it's been over a year since I've eaten this. I'm so happy. They're finally back open and I'm ready to dig in. And uh, ooh, I got a whole egg. In the past, they often gave you just half the egg, but mm, I'm gonna take this whole egg down. Oh, it's so delicious. I've been missing this ramen so badly. They have such delicious stuff here and uh, having to go through the pandemic lockdowns with none of this ramen was definitely one of the things I missed the most about eating the delicious food in the New Orleans area as there's just nothing else quite like this ramen in the area. So this is definitely, in my opinion, the best ramen just from the sheer variety and the creativity they have here. 
They kind of uh, go outside the standard things and do some definite creative things you're not going to find in many other places with the ramen category. So definitely, I am a fan of this place. This little restaurant is a bit of a secret spot and it's hard to find if you don't know specifically where you're going. So they only have one tiny little sign and if you don't know that this is a restaurant that you want to go to, you'll easily drive past it and won't even know what it is. So you really have to use your uh, GPS or actually know where you're going to be able to find it because from the outside, it really doesn't look like a restaurant as it's such a tiny looking building when you go past. So definitely, if you want to eat here, program it into your GPS if you don't know this area of New Orleans. And uh, this area definitely has a lot of streets that all intersect, so it'd be really easy to just get misdirected and not know where you're going. So definitely uh, check this place out if you're in the area, but you want to navigate with GPS so you don't run past it and have to U-turn because there can be a lot of crazy traffic here sometimes you don't want to get involved with. This is also definitely a very popular spot with the locals, and so it can get crowded quickly with a very limited amount of space they have. I do enjoy these delicious ramen noodles and the spicy broth goes so well with them. This uh, flavor is just so nice. I really like the woodier mushrooms too. All that really contributes to such a good flavor to me. It's just a wonderful combination of all those flavors that combine together and give the noodles an extra punch of amazingness. That Otherwise, I guess it would be pretty bland if it just had the noodles. So the broth is kind of the thing that brings out the flavor in these noodles, and uh, they are very good. And I definitely wish I would have known about ramen like this back in my uh, college days of eating that cheap, not-so-flavorful ramen that was mostly just salt packets. Ooh, I got a nice piece of bloodier fungus there. So it's really healthy for you, so uh, the more of that you eat, the better, I think. The beef is cooked perfectly, and oxtail really is a, uh, an amazing thing to have in a soup. It adds so much flavor, and just the meat of it uh, breaks down to make such a really good texture inside of this ramen soup. And all the flavors here definitely make my tongue happy, and I am certainly going to be in a really great mood after such a wonderfully delicious and spicy ramen here. Ooh, it's so nice. They always have such a nice presentation that's followed up by tasting as good as it looks, which is not always the case in many restaurants. So it's a simple thing, yet they do it with quite a good amount of flair to really present their bowls of ramen in a really beautiful manner. So I've always really appreciated how they make it look good and taste good. It's a great uh, presentation that is followed by a quick check of the flavor that meets what you would expect. So that's always a pleasant thing. And even better it can, it frequently exceeds your expectations because they pack so much great flavor into all of their food that you really are getting a lot more of that Ooh la la out of it than you expected to begin with. Because they really add so much depth of flavor and put so many different ingredients in there that really complement each other. So you really do get some wonderful combinations of flavors and tastes that blow you away sometimes. So I really do appreciate how they got everything so well down. They definitely know what they're doing with the flavors. I also like the fact that inside the restaurant they have a library of all manner of wonderful cookbooks and cooking treatises. So you know they've definitely have done their homework with a wide variety of different styles and traditions of cooking. So they definitely add more than just Asian traditions into it. They have a little uh, French they'll throw into things, they'll have a little local New Orleans flair. And they're not scared to kind of mix things up and do a little fusion when things call for it. So I am a little hesitant to even put out a video on Ken because I want to keep it as my secret spot and not share it with anybody because the lines are already too long. But just like I destroyed this bowl of ramen, destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. 
And comment below. Let me know what you thought about this video. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon page because, hey, I do work for tips. So the total for my meal was $22.97 before tip. And thanks so much to everybody at Ken for so many great meals. And thanks to all of you out there for tuning in to the Nula Gen channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you could just share this video with any of your contacts and friends, that really would help me. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and smash that little circle of my head inside of it to subscribe. And then click on the little rectangles on either side of that circle to continue on with the next Nola Jump video. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people.